Hey everyone, my name is Vishwas and welcome to a brand new series on Next.js for beginners. In this series, we will start from scratch and learn the different concepts in Next.js. In this introductory video, I will briefly talk about the what and why of Next.js and also the prerequisites to get started. All right, let's begin with what is Next.js. The docs define Next.js as the React framework for production. And it is this line which I want to break down further to help you understand what exactly is Next.js. Now, if you think about building applications with just React, you know that it's not quite possible to build a full feature-rich application ready to be deployed for production. React is a library for building user interfaces. It is responsible for only the view layer of an application and you as the developer have to make decisions on other features of the app. For example, how would you implement routing, styling, authentication, etc. Next.js on the other hand is a React framework. So it is a package that uses React for building user interfaces, but it also comes loaded with a lot more features that enable you to build full-fledged production-ready applications. Features exactly like routing, styling, authentication, bundle optimization, etc. There's no need to install additional packages. Next.js provides everything for you. You do have to keep in mind though that Next.js, living true to the name of being a framework, does have opinions and conventions which need to be followed to implement the above said features. However, we don't have to worry much about that as there are conventions that have emerged from a team with years of experience writing React apps for production. So to reiterate, Next.js is a React framework for building production-ready applications. All right, now that we know what Next.js is, let's see why you might want to learn it. The why again stems from the fact that Next.js simplifies the process of building a React application for production. Let me list down some of the noteworthy features which you would probably want in a React application, which Next.js provides out of the box. The first one is file-based routing. When building a React app, you need to install a third-party routing package, configure it, and add code every time you need to create a route. Next.js provides what is known as file-based routing to simplify this task. The second feature is pre-rendering. This means that Next.js generates HTML for each page in advance instead of having it all done by client-side JavaScript. Pre-rendering can result in better performance and SEO which is something we all want. The third feature is API routes and this might be a surprise to most of you. But let me tell you that you can create APIs with Next.js. So Next.js is really a full stack framework if you think about it. You can write the front end code in React, but also write APIs that can be called by the React app. Next.js also supports CSS modules, which saves you the time of choosing a CSS library. Of course, you are allowed to use a CSS framework like Tailwind or even a CSS in JS library like styled components for example, but Next.js supports CSS modules out of the box. The fifth feature is authentication. Next.js supports multiple authentication patterns, each designed for different use cases. Last but not the least, Next.js provides a dev build system and a well-optimized production build system so that you can focus more on the code and less on the configuration. It is a culmination of all these features which makes Next.js an amazing framework to work with. 
And if you haven't guessed already, these are the features you are going to learn in detail throughout this series. Also, just so you know, I might refer to Next.js as just Next many times in the series, so please don't get confused. Now then, what are the prerequisites to get started with Next.js? HTML, CSS and JavaScript fundamentals are absolutely necessary. We will be making use of ES6+, Plus, so make sure you have an understanding of the modern JavaScript features as well. Next is a React framework, which implies you also need to have a solid understanding of React fundamentals. You don't have to be an expert by any means, but concepts like function components, props, state, JSX, hooks, and so on are required. If you are new to React, I have an extensive tutorial series that covers React end to end, so make sure to check that out. My goal is to make sure we all advance from a complete beginner to being an expert in Next.js. All the source code related to the series can be found in my GitHub repo for which the link is present in the description. Alright then, with this introduction, let's get started with a simple Hello World application in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one.